Welcome everyone to Saturday Night Main Event and we are just one week away from our very first pay-per-view Extreme Rules. Yes, one week to go and we've got everything you need to get you prepared for Extreme Rules here tonight as we see the debut of Adrian Neville here at Main Event. Now, Adrian Neville's opponent is quite frankly going to shock the universe because after the last few weeks of being a major nuisance to Saturday Night Main Event management, I didn't think we would see this man back here for quite some time, but he is involved tonight. And you guys are gonna find out exactly who that man is in just a few moments. Yes, I could only be talking about one man, and it's the leader of the chain gang. It is John Cena. Now, as I said, John Cena has been a major thorn in the side to Saturday Night Main Event Management. First of all, he decided to take out his aggression on Sami Zayn, and not only did he beat Sami Zayn, he humiliated Sami Zayn in front of the main event audience. Then just last week, which led to him being removed from the Extreme Rules pay-per-view, he attacked Damian Sandow when we thought he'd come to save Sandow from Kevin Owens. Cena has been on the warpath for weeks now, but he's been brought back tonight to face Adrian Neville. What is going to go down tonight, guys? Well, here we go. It is Adrian Neville versus John Cena. And oh, Neville straight out the blocks, chopping down John Cena. The perfect start from Adrian Neville. And you'd have to say, again, it's almost a touch of David versus Goliath with these two meeting in the ring. Almost a carbon copy, big drop kick from Adrian Neville. Almost a carbon copy of when Sami Zayn faced Cena just a few weeks ago. And what's going on here? Neville sent him on the outside and then, oh, what a fantastic move from Adrian Neville. Now, we did hear earlier today that Adrian Neville was not happy with the treatment of Sami Zayn, which he took at the hands of John Cena just a few weeks ago and this is what has led to Adrian Neville facing John Cena tonight. Neville saying that it was completely disrespectful which I agree with the way that Cena treated Sami Zayn and he wants to get some revenge on John Cena but this is a big task for Adrian Neville going up against Cena and we we just don't know what mood Cena's in but I'm pretty sure it's an angry one as he fires those fists to Adrian Neville. Neville reverses and a chop of Neville. Here we go. And no, no, reversal. Back and forth. Big clothesline from John Cena. And you hear the boos erupt from the main event crowd. Cena picks up Neville. First time Cena getting a little bit of control, but Neville fires back. Yes, John Cena has been removed from Extreme Rules, but Main event management allowing, beautiful move. Main event management allowing Adrian Neville to pick up this match tonight. And wait a minute, we could see it all over. Oh, there we go. The red arrow, beautiful. That is Adrian Neville's finishing move. He hooks the leg. One, two, no. Oh. John Cena kicks out a two. We nearly had a major upset here at the start of main event. And a now a massive Inseguri, but Cena bounces back up and boom, big shoulder block. Oh, it just seems like this has pissed John Cena off now as he flies off the ropes. Oh, it's the five moves of doom from John Cena. Down. And he's going to be shuffling all the way. As he says, you can't see me, but we certainly can see the disgrace that is John Cena. And the booze, the crowd don't like it. I don't like it. I don't know what's happened to Cena in these recent weeks. As he looks to put another man away with an FU. Goes up. Drives Neville down. That is all. One, two. No. It's not over. Wow. 
what charisma from Adrian Neville to kick out of that. And a beautiful move. Neville fighting for Sami Zayn, fighting for all the underdogs here in main event. That's what he's here to do. Cena, on the other hand, almost the destroyer of the future because he doesn't want anybody taking his spot. And that's what it's come down to at the moment. Cena does not want anybody moving past him here on Saturday Night Main Event. He feels like he's been screwed over week after week after week. It all started with the championship tournament and he's just not going to let anybody get in his way with this one-man crusade that he has. And to be honest with you, I don't know where it's going to stop or who can put a stop to it at the moment. Hopefully, it will be Adrian Neville tonight. Cena firing off the fist, and he just looks really hacked off now. Big punches to the gut, and then a um, power bomb driving Neville down. Well, Adrian Neville kicked out of the FU, but it seems that that did the damage because Neville hasn't been able to come back since. Oh, I spoke too soon. Neville with the reversal. Big chop to the face of John Cena. Whoa! And that's what Neville's got to do. He's got to use his speed and agility to beat John Cena tonight. I'm pretty sure all the youngsters down at NXT are watching this match and cheering on Adrian Neville just as the Saturday Night Main Event Universe are as well as Neville applies a submission hold to wear down John Cena. He's got it cinched in, Cena. Well... I don't think Cena, maybe he'll start to regret picking on the youngsters and the future of main event. But I just don't know with John Cena. Reversal. Oh, no. Look out. Down. Out of nowhere. And the booze. The crowd don't like it. But I do fear for Adrian Neville right now. What's he going for here? He's not going to go for another FU. He's gone for the STFU. And he's applied it. And how long? Can Neville hold out? He's got it cinched in. Neville holding on, fighting. Oh, Neville could not take any more. It was put on in the middle of the ring. Nowhere for Neville to go. What a valiant effort from Adrian Neville. But John Cena comes up and comes out on top. Unbelievable match. The Red Arrow, I thought for a moment we had an upset going on, but no. Cena returned with the FU, but only to have Adrian Neville kick out. And then Cena deciding to cinch in the STFU, and that was the end of this one. Wow. Wait a minute. What is Cena doing here? He set up a table in the ring. Adrian Neville crawling. He's absolutely exhausted from the match. Oh, come on, John. No. Oh, God damn it. What is wrong with him? Well, I hope you're proud of yourself. I mean, who is going to stop John Cena? I said it earlier, but somebody needs to put a stop to this. Saturday Night Main Event Management can't seem to get the job done. Who will stop John Cena? Now, John Cena may not be a part of Extreme Rules, but come Saturday, April 18th at 8 p.m., we will have our very first pay-per-view, and we've got a jam-packed card. Yes, Extreme Rules will have Kevin Owens' open challenge to the SNME roster, and we will see who will take up the challenge to face Owens at Extreme Rules. In addition to Owens' open challenge, we will see a grudge match Yes, this one is personal as we see Chris Jericho versus Dolph Ziggler. Now, just a week ago, Chris Jericho took out Shawn Michaels, the mentor of Dolph Ziggler. So I'm sure he's got hell to pay. And both of these superstars will feature tonight in our main event. And speaking of main events, well, this is our main event at Extreme Rules. It's Cesaro versus Rollins 2. And what a match this is going to be as Cesaro tries to capture the gold and become Saturday Night Main Event Champion. Again, just like Ziggler and Jericho, Cesaro and Rollins will feature tonight as we've got a tag team match 
And whoever wins this match tonight really will have the momentum going into the Extreme Rules pay-per-view as we see Jericho and Rollins versus Ziggler and Cesaro. What a main event we've got. And now let's get straight back to the action here tonight on Saturday night's main event. Well, main event universe, you rejoin us with the man who's not, yes, I repeat, not Intercontinental Champion, albeit that he does have the belt round his waist. Yes, I'm talking about Sheamus. Last week, after he lost the Fatal 4-Way, he decided to hightail it with the Intercontinental Championship. That belt belongs to Dean Ambrose. I'm not really sure what Sheamus is doing out here, to be honest. He was not scheduled. But anyway, he's here. Ha ha ha! Well, it appears that Sheamus isn't going to be able to get whatever it is off his chest now because the actual Intercontinental Champion is here. Yes, Dean Ambrose has decided to interrupt Sheamus. And he's got good reason to. He wants his title belt back. And he doesn't look too happy. Yes, the Lunatic Fringe has decided to interrupt the Great White. That is Sheamus. Oh, this is going to explode. You can just tell what does Ambrose have in store. You never quite know when Dean Ambrose is around. What is he looking for under the ring? Oh, boy, he's got a kendo stick. Oh! And Sheamus may regret the day that he stole the Intercontinental Championship as shot after shot after shot from Dean Ambrose to Sheamus with that kendo stick. And now what? Oh, a big DDT. Almost a variation of Dirty Deeds there from Dean Ambrose. This crowd absolutely loving it. Oh dear, Sheamus, what have you done? Big drop kick from Ambrose as he slides to the outside. What's he going for now? I don't even think Sheamus knows where he is at the moment. Sheamus coming round. Oh, only to be clocked by a steel chair. Oh, and another one. And another one. My goodness me. This is absolutely crazy at the moment. Dean Ambrose making Sheamus pay for taking that belt away from him after he earned it by winning the Fatal 4-Way. Oh, I better get out of the way, out of my commentary area because they're coming over here. They're getting very close to my announce table. I do not like this. Well, what is Dean Ambrose going to do next? Oh, right in front of us here. Big clothesline from Dean Ambrose. Sheamus is being destroyed. As he tries to get to his feet. Oh, and he just gets kicked in the face. And now, add an insult to injury, applying a submission hold. There's nobody going to stop this. This isn't a match. And Sheamus has nowhere to go. Maybe we need to get some officials out here because this one could go on forever. Now what? Oh, wait a minute. Sheamus has had a chance to catch a breather. He goes to fire on Ambrose, but Ambrose catches him at the pass. And now... Table set up by announce table is destroyed. Oh dear. What are we gonna see now? Oh, dirty deeds through the table. Well, Sheamus will regret the day he stole the Intercontinental Championship, but I don't think he'll forget it either. Dean Ambrose reclaiming the belt that is rightfully his. The Intercontinental Champion back and in business. What you, what you want, what you, what you want. And coming off the back of that, we've got our final match for Extreme Rules, as it will be for the Intercontinental Championship. It will be Sheamus versus Ambrose, and the Great Wyatt is certainly going to be pissed going into Extreme Rules. 
but what will the Lunatic Fringe have in store? Wow, what a match this is going to be. The final match of the card. Wow, Extreme Rules one week away. Well, I've almost lost my voice. It's been such an amazing night so far. So many things going down. But now we've got our main event of the evening. Here we go. Seth Rollins making his first step in the main event ring as the Saturday Night Main Event Champion. And his tag team partner is none other than the Ayatollah of Iraq and Roller. It is Y2J, Chris Jericho. Almost a dream team, as you will. Yes, there he is. The man of a thousand and four holds, Chris Jericho. And their opponents, well, I said a dream team earlier, but this could be the supreme dream team as we've got, yes, the king of swing, Cesaro. Yes, the leader of the Brass Ring Club. Absolutely exceptional. And his tag team partner, none other than the show-off and the future showstopper, Dolph Ziggler. What a main event this is going to be. Neither team will want to lose face going into Extreme Rules. And whoever comes out on top tonight will surely have the momentum and possibly then be able to pick up the victory at the pay-per-view. So here we go, this tag team match underway. And you can also see at ringside, we've got Zeb Coulter and Mark Henry as Seth Rollins kind of ducked out there, maybe a bit afraid of Cesaro. Didn't want to get in the mix too early with him in this match. And Jericho having to take the fall here. Here we go. Nice duck under from Chris Jericho. Under goes Cesaro. Oh, trademark German suplex from the Swiss Superman as Chris Jericho bails on the outside to try and buy himself some time. As I said, Seth Rollins really putting Jericho in the deep end and gets caught again. And there we go, we the people. Mark Henry not sure what to do with himself at the moment. Jericho being caught in all areas and all sorts of trouble as Dolph Ziggler chases Jericho back in the ring. But now, Jericho managing to get a little bit of offense as he takes up Cesaro and takes Cesaro down. And the boos echo. Not many are a fan of Chris Jericho these days after the attacks that he's made on Shawn Michaels. I mean, let's just give you a bit of history here. Oh, Jericho looking big bulldog from Chris Jericho. But the issue came from the tournament where Shawn Michaels interjected himself into that championship tournament. I have to admit, he did play a part in allowing Dolph Ziggler to advance, but Jericho since then has despised Dolph Ziggler and obviously got retribution on Shawn Michaels by indefinitely putting him out. As you see, Jericho scale the turnbuckle. Whoa, what a move that was. Wow, I said a dream team, but they just proved it right there as the pinfalls made one, two, Kick out from Cesaro. And now the champion. We get to see the current SNME champion in the ring as he goes back and forth. This is a preview of the main event, guys, that we're going to see at Extreme Rules as Cesaro goes for a pin for one. The champ, one, two. Ooh! Nearly got a victory early there. As I said, how damaging could this be for one, whoever gets the pin and whoever, you know, loses the fall here tonight? I mean, that's got to put some issues in your back of your mind. You've got to think to yourself, wow, I lost the other night to this guy and now I've got to face him, you know, in, in Rollins' case, for his title. So it's a big match, this. As Seth Rollins puts the boots to Cesaro. You can see Mark Henry the bodyguard, the protector of Seth Rollins on the outside, watching closely. He's always there to make the interception if needed. Now, I've got to say, even though we say that about Mark Henry, let's not take away the fact that Seth Rollins did indeed get the job done all by himself. 
in the final of that championship tournament. He did it by hook or by crook. He got the job done. But at the moment, the powerhouse is in control. As Cesaro goes over and we're going to see the first look at Dolph Ziggler in this match. Oh, explosive start from Dolph Ziggler firing on Seth Rollins. Some say this could be an absolutely amazing singles match if we ever get to see it. Big elbow into the gut of Seth Rollins. Crowd loving it. They're behind the show off 100%. Oh, big power slam. And we've got to say that we do hope Shawn Michaels gets better soon. Um, you know, that attack from Jericho. I mean, yeah. He may have cost you the match, Jericho, but what he did, what he did to Shawn Michaels was just inexplicable. Oh, a big punch. I don't think Rollins really knows where he is, but he's still fighting. That's the sign of a true champion. Here we go. Nice move from Seth Rollins. We saw that earlier, but no pinfall. And then, wow, what athleticism from the champion. Jericho kind of hinting that he wants in, but I'm not sure he really does. Because if Dolph Ziggler gets his hands on him tonight, he may not make it to Extreme Rules. Ziggler is on the warpath. Ziggler going to the corner. He makes the tag. And yep. Oh, walking straight into a fist is Seth Rollins. But this time, a reversal from the champion. Booze echo through the arena. Yes, Seth Rollins is not a fan favourite, but he does have a contingency of fans. Just a small amount. Big punches to Cesaro, but he's not having any of it. The, the challenger next Saturday, he's not having it. As he throws Seth Rollins off. Oh, beautiful vintage move, that uppercut, European style. And then driving the knee into the face of Seth Rollins. Interesting that both managers have been very well behaved. I mean, that's a, that's a rarity when it comes to Zeb Coulter. And obviously the bodyguard, Mark Henry. As he takes up Seth Rollins. Cesaro, what a big move that was. And wait a minute, what's Ziggler doing? Oh, Ziggler's come to get him some of Chris Jericho. He could not wait any longer. He couldn't contain it any longer. And these two are getting it on right now. Well, they can't wait till next week. Jericho was hanging on the apron for quite some time and Ziggler just thought, I've had enough. And here we go, they are fighting their way up the ramp. Meanwhile, the match is still going on, but look at this. Back and forth, these two. And next Saturday, they will face in a grudge match and it'll all be legal. My goodness, what a match this is going to be between these two. A serious hate relationship here as he drives the elbow, Jericho. These two fighting their way all the way back to the locker room by the looks of it. As we go back to the ring and it is a Back and forth from Rollins and Cesaro. Oh, my goodness, the action is everywhere over the Saturday Night Main Event Arena. Bang, another punch. Oh, and the big kick. Rollins getting the better of it. And now he says to the crowd, I'm going for this. Oh, Cesaro looks in deep trouble. He's crawling. There's not much left. Here he comes, whoa, oh, European uppercut out of nowhere. He caught him, he caught the champ. One, two, three, it's over. <laughs> Unbelievable. Can you believe it? Cesaro beats Rollins. And we are just one week away from Extreme Rules where the championship will be on the line. Oh my goodness, what a main event it's been. I can't wait for next week. This is Saturday night main event. 
Signing out. <laughs>